This video will cover present value of future cash flows. Why we calculate present value of future cash flows? How we calculate present value of future cash flows? And some important relationships between present value calculations. So first of all, let's have a brief introduction of what present value of future cash flow is. Uh, suppose you are expecting 200,000 to be received two years from now from your friend that you gave him sometimes ago some some time ago so your friend promised you to pay 200,000 back to you after two years so if you want to assess 200,000 after two years what what would exactly it be equal in today's terms you will need to calculate its present value because 200,000 is the future amount or the future value or a future cash flow but you don't know what it is worth as of today so this is the basic concept of present value so how we calculate why we calculate present value of future cash flows uh, if, a, if you are an investor or a, uh, uh, a trader, you will need to assess what exactly you are holding in your hand and how much you are going to get in some future times. So you need to assess what would it be actually worth as of today. For example, if you have made an investment in shares, let's suppose you have made an investment of $10,000 that gives you $100 of dividends every year so you get uh, you plan to get your uh, $10,000 uh, retire from the investment after let's say 10 uh, 5 years so after 5 years you will be having these plus your 10,000 back so these are your future cash flows so this will be after one year this will be two years this will be three years this will be four years we are five years and this will also be at your five years so you are standing currently at year zero as this is the now so you want to you don't you won't be getting a uh, hundred dollars now you are because it you will be getting this after one year so after two years you will also getting one hundred thousand for third year one hundred thousand fourth year fifth year and at the end of fifth year you will get your ten thousand investment back so as of today this means as of today you are about to calculate your investment but for this you will definitely need something you will be needing as an appropriate rate called discount rate so this is the rate at which you will be actually discounting your these future cash flows if you have appropriate discount rate given in a present value calculation question or the information is such that that gives you an appropriate rate that means it's a discount rate so what is the calculation method for uh, present value of future cash flows so let's take a detailed example so this is the formula for calculating the discount factor you just uh, div divide one plus discount rate and times the interest uh, times the number of periods so we will be applying this through excel let's assume that we have a discount rate of seven percent and i taking the continuing the same example let's say I will I have a 10 period 10, 10 years of investment of 100,000 each year so I will be taking down the hundred dollars of dividend every year plus at the end of 10th year I will be getting 
my ten thousand dollars investment plus the dividend for the last year 100 this will make ten thousand one hundred so how we calculate the discount factor this is the formula we just simply uh, reciprocate of the one plus discount rate so what we we do is we take is equal we will b is equal to one over i have duplicated the equal sign one over one plus the discount rate that is seven percent we just need to fix that just press f4 you will be fixing that and then we will increase its exponential power by the number of year the number of period that is one and this will be uh, increased as we go down so the present value uh, so discount factor for year one is this so if we don't drag this down to you know, 10th year you will get the discount rate factors for each year so if we just multiply the future cash flow to the discount factor this will give us the present value of this future cash flow right so we just simply multiply the future cash flow with the respective discount factor that's it so after one year of 100 dollar dividend it is currently worth 93.45 dollars as of now so if we drag this formula down like this this will give us the present value of all these future cash flows so after that let's assess how much we are gonna get oh you see we at the end of 10th year will be actually having 5785 and 85 cents out of our 10,000 investment so i think this is not a good option or good investment because you are actually investing 10,000 and you are currently having 5785 out of these projected cash flows so this is not a good option so this is why you calculate present value of future cash flows so let's take another example of some uh, like the bonds so we will just remove these we will just change this figure let's say uh, you are going to invest in a bond that offers you nine percent coupon coupon so bond is has normally have face value of one thousand dollars so if we want to calculate what is the present value or what is the market value of the one thousand bond having a discount rate of let's say five percent so we will just calculate the present value as we calculate the future cash flows that will give you 1000 times coupon rate right we'll just fix that and we also will fix that because these are gonna be fixed same for every year so for the first year you will get an interest of 90 dollars out of 1000 so we will drag this down to this like that and after 10 years you will get your 1000 back plus the interest of 10th year that will give you 1000 
1000 plus 1000 times the coupon this will be 1090 so if you think that your bond is currently let's assume uh, it is twelve hundred dollars currently and you actually could take the present value calculated by the present value future cash flows formula you just see that your twelve hundred thousand dollars spending is worth it because you you will be actually getting thirteen hundred and eight dollars for this investment by spending twelve thousand twelve hundred today your actual worth is thirteen hundred and eight as of today so this is a good investment i think so what is the now comes to the last part what is the relationship between the uh, present value and discount rate so let's see as we think as we saw that five percent at five percent your present value is thirteen hundred and eight let's increase that if we take increase this to seven percent you see that this is reduced for let's uh, reduce it even further and take to its uh, its take to 10 percent it has reduced even further so let's take it to below five percent let's four percent at five percent it has a 1300 value and at four percent it has 14 this concludes that the higher the discount rate the lower the present value simple as we have experienced this so if you guys have understood this concept we have basically covered why we calculate the present value future cash flows and how we calculate the present value future cash flows and the important relationship between that higher the discount rate the lower the present value so if you have any questions regarding this you can ask me in comments so until then take care